It's summertime! Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. It's time for rugged outdoor sports. In a lot of the world, COVID has taken a back seat to enjoyment. And here we have a ruggedized smartwatch with all the basic functions that you can take out and enjoy wherever your summer travels take you. Take a look at this puppy. It's really nice. Very very, very robust, ruggedized band, two holes, big buckle, uh, TPU type, kind of a challenge to get off. It's really on this card. Good. All right. There we go. Look thick? Huh? Huh? Smell thick? Yep. It should be. One, it's ruggedized. Two, it's got a humongous battery in here. Yeah. Something like 500 milliamp hours in that neighborhood. And... More goodies inside of a box, but before we take in dive into that, let's tell you about it. It's a lock mat device. Yep, this comes from the Lock Mat Time official store. Now, let you know there's two different lock mat stores. There's the APP LLP store for the big fancy Android watches, and then there's this new Lock Mat Time store for a variety of other watches that are not Android. And this comes through that AliExpress store at a really decent price. And check the show notes. We'll try to get a coupon for you. Usually they'll show up here. Just click them and add them and take your discount. In terms of what's inside this one, it's a full screen, um, one point, what is it? 1.28 inch down here. There it is, 1.28 inch screen. So it's on the smaller side, 240 by 240, but it's a nice, big, hunky watch. So you're going to have something rugged on your arm, protected from all sides. You've got no GPS in this one, but you've got your step count and fitness tracker and all the standard things that go with it. You've got uh, professional waterproof. They say IP68, I believe. You can get it wet, maybe even swim in it, but don't get it in hot water or press any buttons. Um, square screen shape, really? Okay, we'll take a look at that. Rubber material, and overall, it's a sports watch. So, the Lock Mat Attack 2. So what about that manual? Well, let's take a look. Here it is. We're going to use the H-Band app for tethering. You can scan the QR code if you want to right there. Or you can go to the link in the show notes and click over and download it directly to your phone. That, the app you put on your phone, not on the watch, of course. Here's some basic information on charging, the layout, the different faces that you're going to see, the screens that you get to. A little bit more of what the app drawer looks like and whatnot, and some other information. And I think that's it. Then we're into other languages. Let's get into the box, see what else is packed with this thing. I've got, looks like a charger and a robust manual in multiple languages. We'll look at that at the very end. As far as charging this watch, the standard two pin magnetic coupler but look at that it's a very unique design so if you need another one you're gonna have to probably buy the one that mates with this particular watch because there are the pins never seen that design can't go on backwards but when you get it right wow okay this kind of creates a seal it's on there it's holding the watch yeah, I guess that helps with overall waterproofness and uh, making sure you're connected for uh, for power. In terms of the watch itself, you got a button there, a button there, a thing that looks like a camera or a flashlight, but it's neither. It's just a nice little pattern that re reflects back and forth. Two buttons, nothing on this side. Looks like a speaker there. Does not have um, Bluetooth calling or music player or any of that stuff built into it. So that's probably just for making beeping sounds. Pretty stiff overall construction, non-removable band. And, well, let's turn it on. We're going to charge it up here in a little bit, but we'll see if it'll actually start up. Oh, yeah, it does. And it's nice and bright. I wanted to do that so I could show it to you on. And... We can uh, play with this. Now, I'm a rather large guy, kind of in the middle. Uh, not huge guy, but not tiny guy. And that <laughs> looks a little, a little big on me, doesn't it? 
Wow. So not a ladies watch more probably. Um, if you are going to be out there rollerblading or skiing or those kind of things, this is going to be a nice huge watch for you. It's got a very bright screen. Obviously, we can see that outside. It's got a good charge on it. Now, I haven't set it up or done anything, so let's just walk through. Here's our overall brightness. Wow! There's level 12. That's seriously bright. Let's uh, dim that down a, a bit. Let's see how low it will go. Okay, there's one, and it's still a decent brightness. In fact, I'm going to leave it at one for the review, otherwise the colors might uh, bloom out. you got a little bit of animation going on, time and stuff in here. Scroll down, you got your find your phone and alarms. You've got a do not disturb mode that you can activate and information about the watch. Attack 2 is what we'd look for for Bluetooth tethering. You get heart rate here and step count on this uh, watch face which is kind of nice and your uh, battery level and date and time will show up there going this way I've got step count uh, last night's sleep time yeah no data but I guess anything pushed from your phone uh, would be showing up there if you have it tethered here we're gonna get the heart rate uh, you see the heart pulsing and it should give us the uh, chart on the inside here there's a current rate. You're going to get low and high and your last reading. And I believe a chart will show up in that little section right there. No data, but you can press the button to measure. And this is probably our blood pressure. Let's see what it'll do. It might take it a moment. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to take a while. I'll skip ahead for you. All right, 120 over 80. That is like standard. That's the gold standard. I'm like Superman. Um, not sure about the accuracy of all of that. So that looks like that's what you get when you loop around. It goes in a circle and covers all those uh, tiles. And from here we go up. And we get messages pushed from the phone if there are any. And that's pretty much it for the layout. Now press the top button is on and off. And press the bottom button gets us to our drawer of apps which include a sporting section that you have activity I just started one it looks like maybe I was a little too aggressive on that press and hold press and hold well there we go oh that's a music player there stop is on that side we're going to end that exercise and we're going to come back and do that again hit sport Okay, these are the different things you have. Outdoor run, outdoor walking, and indoor activities, hiking, steppers, rowing machine. Eh, good selection, but you're not getting yoga and Pilates and some of the exotic stuff. Here's our overall step count, like the tile that we saw. Same with sleep, heart rate, and blood pressure. I'm not seeing blood oxygen on this one. Notifications, alarm clock. Yep, you've got a stopwatch. You've got a countdown timer as well. The remote music player and find your phone. Uh, when you're set up and registered as a female, you can track cycle information, remote photography, overall weather, and then settings for brightness lock. These are your switches, heart rate monitoring, blood pressure monitoring. You can set alarms for heart rate. That's nice. Twist your wrist to see the time. That's connection alert if you're separated from your phone and so forth. Uh, overall dial settings. Here are four of them, it looks like, that you can choose from. And that one may be one that you can change the picture in the background, I would imagine. And uh, we were in settings, which we got to from here. And uh, what else? Measure uh, message settings. These are the things you can have pushed from your phone and you can turn them on or off from right here. I imagine also in the app as well. That's a lot of them too. So you can get a good number of different notifications pushed, which is great if you're all wired up with stuff and you don't have a chance to easily get to your phone. You can clear the data and leave all of that as well. So that is basically... Um, the watch. It's the Attack 2. Pretty interesting. So once again, this is the Attack 2 from the Lockmat Time official store on AliExpress. And uh, head on over there, check it out, and uh, appreciate it if you use our link if you want to buy this thing. It helps us out here at Smartwatch Ticks. Alrighty, gang, we'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching.